Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'll show you how to make Greek yogurt brownies for Halloween. They are so easy and delicious, so hopefully you can give them a try. Remember, you will find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video. And you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now in a bowl, combine the flour with the cocoa powder, the salt and the baking powder. Stir well and set aside for a minute. Now in another bowl with an electric mixer, we're going to beat the butter with the brown sugar and the granulated sugar. Mix well on medium speed until everything is well incorporated into a grainy and creamy paste for about two minutes or so. After that, adding the vanilla extract and also adding the eggs one at a time and mixing each egg for about 30 seconds before adding the next one. Once the last egg is well incorporated, also adding the yogurt and I'm using Greek vanilla yogurt, but feel free to use all natural plain yogurt if you prefer so. You can stop the mixer and scrape down the size of the bowl if you need to and just continue to mix this on medium high speed until everything is well incorporated. Now we're going to add in the flour, so reduce the speed and add half the flour mixture. Mix on low speed until everything is combined. Then add in the rest of the flour and just continue to mix this on low speed until everything is well combined. Do not over mix it, you just want to combine everything together without over mixing. And this is how the butter should look like, as you can see it's very rich and thick and that's perfect. Now we're going to add in the chocolate chips and slowly combine them with the rest of the butter. Now we're going to pour this into the baking dish and my baking dish is lined with parchment paper and it's also greased and floured. These brownies do have tons of chocolate so to prevent them from sticking to the pan I'm using the parchment paper and I also cover the parchment paper with grease and flour. So add the butter into the pan, spread it on an even layer, then bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes or until done. Do not over bake it. And this is how it looks when it comes out of the oven. Now we're going to let it cool completely before cutting it and decorating it. So the cake is completely cold already, now we can decorate it. And here I have about a quarter of a cup of melted semi-sweet chocolate and I'm going to cover the surface of the cake with this. It's just a very thin layer of chocolate on top of the cake. Doesn't have to be perfect. After that, now we're going to cut it into small squares to make the brownies. And the size of the brownies depends on you. I cut mine into 24 pieces. Now we're going to set this aside for a moment. Now to decorate the brownies, I'm using marshmallows, white chocolate. I'm also using chocolate chips, chocolate sprinkles and gummy worms. I'm also using semi-sweet chocolate. So I melted the white chocolate in the microwave. And now we're going to dip the marshmallows into the white chocolate to cover them. Then tap them a bit to remove the excess chocolate and then we're going to place them right on the center of each brownie. Repeat this step with at least half the brownies. And then set them aside for about 10 minutes just so the chocolate starts to set and then we can finish decorating them. Now over here I have the leftover melted white chocolate. I'm going to add a few drops of green food coloring. Stir well to combine and then I'm going to cover a few marshmallows with this green chocolate. Tap them to remove the excess chocolate and then place a green marshmallow on the center of each leftover brownie. To decorate the green marshmallows, I'm also using semi-sweet chocolate. It's semi-sweet melted chocolate. And I'm also using chocolate sprinkles. And I'm going to add a little bit of melted chocolate on top of the marshmallow, just on top. And then after that, I'm going to sprinkle it with some chocolate sprinkles. This will be my Frankie brownies. Just continue to do this until you're done and then set them aside for a minute. Now to decorate the rest of the brownies, I will also make some spiders. 
and for that I'm using about a quarter of a cup of melted semi-sweet chocolate and I'm also using the gummy worms chocolate sprinkles and chocolate chips so we're going to cut the gummy worms in half or thirds this will be the spider's legs and then we'll also cut the marshmallows in half then dip the marshmallows into the semi-sweet chocolate tap them a bit to remove the excess chocolate and then place them right on the center of the brownies repeat this step until you're done then we're going to place the gummy worms as if they were the spider's legs on the sides of the marshmallows then we're going to sprinkle the chocolate covered marshmallow with chocolate sprinkles and then we're going to add two chocolate chips on top to make the eyes of the spider and that's about it for the spiders, they are done, now set them aside now to finish the white and green monsters we will also need mini marshmallows and we will cut those in half the mini marshmallows will be the eyes of the monsters on each eye or each marshmallow we will draw an X with melted chocolate just keep on doing this until you're done now to place the eyes on the monsters just add a little bit of melted white chocolate on the back of the eye then press it against the marshmallow one eye can be the marshmallow and the other eye can be a chocolate sprinkle or a chocolate chip the mouth will also be a chocolate sprinkle now to finish the Frankie monsters I'm using the gummy worms I had left from the spider legs as you can see the eyes are made of tiny pieces of gummy worms and also the ears are tiny pieces of gummy worms the mouth is also made of gummy worms but you can decorate this any way that you like they don't have to be perfect and they don't have to be pretty they are for a Halloween party so it's okay if they are not that pretty they do taste delicious and that's what matters so just have fun and decorate them any way that you like and that's about it enjoy happy Halloween to print this and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog, the link is going to be down below. And remember you also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, I'm everywhere, so all the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!